Now, this is a first. Uh, I normally answer questions by either filming. Uh, basically, if it's someone's asking me about a fly I'd like to see tied, or material used, or so on. Uh, the easiest way to do it is to show. And that's why I, so I originally started tying flies, especially filming and putting them on YouTube, was to help. Uh, but in, when I put a video up, like recently I put one up when I was fishing in the River Dune, and I got asked, this is on YouTube, I got asked on Facebook, and I got asked on Instagram, uh, two or three people, what rod, what setup did I have, or what did I use? Well, uh, to be honest, Basically, I use put the rod here in my lap. Obviously, uh, I'm use I use a an eight foot ten five weight. Now the kind of average would be for nine foot five weight would be so ideal uh, for for dry fly fishing, and uh, and especially this time of year if you want to go lighter and a smaller water. I mean, it depends on the water. If you're in a chalk stream, it's small. You can much lighter. You need the it's, there's there's lots of reasons. Uh, that you would maybe change and maybe a wee bit faster if you're on a lock. You could be a, a nine foot six weight even. Uh, but again, there's other reasons as well. There's depending on how fast the rod is, whether it's a tip action rod or a middle to tip or a through action. That determines a lot of things as well, uh, whether you can cast it against the wind or where strength and nylon you want to use. I mean, if you're using a fast action rod, uh, say a 9.5 weight and it's a tip action I would hardly go below 4 pound or 4x tip it because you just snap off and you, uh, the rod I use is a middle to tip action uh, it's, got, it's softer that, that means I can get away way down to maybe even a, a, a 6x and uh, I do use a 2 pound nylon uh, but basically that's Again, it depends. There's lots of wee twists and turns, but yeah, as I say, you're looking for a rod round about the, the 9 foot 5 weight, which would be what I would be happy to fish with for dry fly. Uh, reel, I guess, as long as the reel holds, it, holds it. the line, I've got a wee small wide arbor reel here. This is a, believe it or not, I bought this a long time ago. Uh, I think it was around about 2003, 2006, right about there. This is a uh, just a wee wide arbor reel. It's, a, it's got a good drag. It's, it was a company called Sierra. Uh, I've, I've got the other, I've got a lovely reel, it's like the Ericsson reel there. It's a, it's a lovely reel. It's got another line on it. But, uh, but basically, it's got a good enough drag, it's fine with me. I'm not, uh, I wouldn't like to. I like rods, I like I like things, but at the end of the day, these are, these, these are work. Uh, the line I use, and I've used for, again, a long, long time. Uh, obviously, I've bought them over the years because they do wear out over time. This is a Lee Wolf. This is a triangular taper. It's got a lovely taper on it. It presents really well, shoots well. So I'm happy with it. And I know there's other lines out there that are very, very good. Uh, it's just hard, that's what I use. Uh, tapered leaders. I like tapered leaders for dry fly fishing. Uh, there's quite a few out there. I personally like to just basically get a 9 foot or a 12 foot down to 4 pound tippet and uh, I just add a tippet onto it using uh, either a flora carbon. Now these are just the standard taper leaders that you can buy. There's lots of lengths, the 12 foot's nice but at one time you could, I even used 15 footer. Yeah, I don't think you can buy this one for full mill. Um, I don't know if they sell them anymore, but that's my last one, so uh, I'll, I'll probably go into a bit more detail sometime if, if you want. But you can ask me questions, and if you feel it's the like, David, could you f film the answer or show me? And then this is why I'm using, doing this. Uh, one of the other questions I got asked was uh, Do I use a bag? Um, well, not really, I've got a waistcoat, which usually, but uh, I like to use. Uh, basically this is a hip bag, this one obviously is an Orvis one, it's got the nylon, obviously it holds a, uh, a few boxes, got my glasses, got my sunglasses, got my, my tie my uh, a knot on glass, the glasses, I'll show you these, because uh, these make a difference, these are just magnifying, these are 99 pence glasses I've worn, 
They're just plus twos, they're reading glasses. You can buy them out of Tesco's or something. Um, these ones, but I prefer if I'm on the river. These are the ones with the magnetic. I got these on eBay. Now these are a, I use a, these are a plus two, depends on how, how strong you need them. So these are plus twos, just double checking there it says it on the side. But basically the reason I like the magnet is because I wear a hat, a cap, and uh, I want to be able to, I don't want to keep taking my hat off to put my glasses on. So basically I can just pull these off over my hat, put them on over my hat, click them on, or just basically put them on. It's easy to do that. Uh, so I like using these. So and plus the other thing, if you can see, they actually fold up. You can screw them up. Don't have to worry about them. Unless you stand on them anyway. Just the way I do that. Just stick them in your bag. There you go. You see, and the good thing, the other reason that the hip is, I use the the chest harness for the GoPro. If I'm wearing my waistcoat at times, it gets in the way. So by the hip, I just I can get everything but send my waistcoat into this bag, put it on my side. So anyway, and obviously your needles and whatever you as well. Uh, there's just a wee quick video uh, on basically one question really we were asked on three different platforms. And uh, as I said, if you've got a question you feel I could answer like this, I could probably do this once every couple of weeks or maybe if it gets popular every week if I do a wee quick qu uh, question and answer session using the video and uh, then we can go for there so anyway I hope you enjoyed the very first one and the answers or shows you some ideas and helps you when you go out fishing and uh, as I say thank you for watching